What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I'm back with my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Friday, May 27th. Yeah, I got that right. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AwesomeO. Get yourself $25 on that first deposit. And we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10. with Marcus Smart. Derek White, P.J. Tucker, Kyle Lowry, and Al Horford on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today. Time to find out. First up at number five, we're going to Jalen Brown. He's 14K, 39 and a half. He's in the optimal lineup 48% of the time. Now, if you're going to Jalen Brown, you're going there with the thought process of, I need a multiplier. I don't have him showing up in the utility spot at all. 14K is pretty expensive in order to get into that spot. 15% of the time, he's optimal at MVP, 20% at star, and 12% at pro. If you're going to Jalen Brown, you need him in one of those big three spots because the salary is too high. That will give you the multiplier that you're looking for to make him optimal. 39 minutes for Jalen Brown, 28% usage, 23 points, seven and a half boards, three and a half assists, and a stock and a half. The stat line looks fantastic. Might just be slightly overpriced. I think he would look a little bit, well, obviously he would look a little bit better, but I think he would fit a little bit more at 13.5, but I can't really make any complaints. I think he looks good. Number four, we're going Grant Williams. I find him very interesting today. Just 7K, projected for 19, optimal lineup 54% of the time. The Celtics are down to an eight-man rotation. Grant Williams is certainly a firm part of that. He played reduced minutes in game five. I think that he can clearly rebound a bit from that perspective. But at 7K, you really don't need a ton. I gave Grant Williams 30 minutes. I think he could play upwards of 36 given their rotation choices. They didn't play Peyton Pritchard in the second half of the last game. They could actually make this be a seven-man rotation if they really needed to. 14% usage for Grant Williams, nine and a half points, four and a half boards, an assist, a steal, a block. There's only one thing you're doing with Grant Williams. You're putting him in the utility spot. 54% of the time he's there. He's never showing up an MVP star or pro at this current projection. Now, that's not to say that it could never happen, but if you're going to Grant Williams, he is a value play that you're going to, and you're only putting him in at utility. At number three, we go to Jason Tatum, 16K, projected for almost 46 fantasy points, and he is in the optimal lineup 60% of the time. 41 minutes here for Tatum, 31% usage, 27 points, seven boards, five assists, and two stocks, looking to close out the Miami Heat. And if you're playing Tatum, you're going all the way to the top here. 36% of the time, he's optimal at MVP, 19% at star, and 5% at pro. The way to get different if you're using Jason, if you don't want to use Jason Tatum is to just not have him in the lineup at all. There's, you should not be putting him ever in the utility spot. You probably shouldn't even be going to pro. Well, there's, there's a little bit of value there, but the ownership will also be there. It's either MVP and star, or he's not in your lineup at all. And number two, we go to Jimmy Butler. I really don't know what to do with him now because I, I have no concept of how healthy he is and I don't know how to discount him. But you get the $1,000 savings underneath Jason Tatum. He's only 15K, projected for 45. That puts him in the optimal lineup 67% of the time. I gave him 40 minutes. That's what we saw in game five. 28% usage, 23 points, eight boards, five assists, two and a half stocks. And pretty much everything I said about Tatum is the same for Butler. 36% at MVP, 22 at star, nine at pro. You can get away with him a little bit more at pro because he's cheaper, but you're not going to Jimmy Butler at the utility spot. And if you are trying to be different, Jimmy Butler out of your lineup completely is the way to do that. Otherwise, he needs to be in one of the multiplier spots. Now, before we get to the number one contender that I'm sure everybody's going to groan at, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are. And sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AWESOMO. $12,500 Bam Adebayo is in at number one for me. He's projected for 38 and a half, and he's in the optimal lineup 72% of the time. He had 18 and 10 last time out. They cut Dwayne Dedman from the rotation, which means we should expect more minutes out of Bam Adebayo. We, we're not going to be going to any other centers. It's going to be P.J. Tucker backing him up there. And look, again, he double-doubled the last time out. Price went down $500 since then. The last time he was 12-5 is the game that he dropped 66 fantasy points on Fandle. Can't beat that. 36 minutes here for Bam Adebayo. 16 points, 10 boards, 4 assists, and 2 stops. 
You're going to a multiplier spot. It's hard to justify him at utility, only 2% there, but 8% at MVP, 22 at star, and 41 at pro. I'm going to take my chances on Bam Adebayo once again. I'm hoping that what we saw in game five can be carried over here at least a little bit. If it's not, the Miami Heat are just simply not going to win this game. Bam Adebayo is my number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Friday, May 27th. DraftKings version is around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We're back again maybe Sunday, depending on who wins this game. Otherwise, I think it's Tuesday for another edition of the Contenders.